four hours of interviews, let's go. So, my first interviewee seems to be late. That gives me a bit more time to prepare for questions. Whilst I'm waiting for the student, I just want to talk about uh, the reason why I'm doing mock interviews. And it's because mock interviews are a very, very important way of learning how to speak uh, in a high pressure environment, which is what a lot of aspiring medical students and Oxford students will be doing in their interviews. When you have discussions at school in the classroom with your school teachers, it's nice, it's a discussion, but it's not under pressure. And so that's the benefit of having these mock interviews. And I've got eight of these back to back today, which is around four hours of mock interviewing. Mind you, this is nothing compared to what admissions students do. They sometimes have 10 hours of interviewing per day. So I guess, yeah, four hours doesn't look like much. However, it's important that each interview is personal, that each interview sort of pushes the candidate to their own potential and helps identify where they can improve on. And that's the point of mock interviews. By doing mock interviews over a sort of prolonged period of time, over two, three months, anyone can develop the ability to speak in a logical manner, speaking out their thoughts, but also taking time to think about what they want to say to ensure that every single thing they say is something useful and isn't just fluff. So anyway, going to uh, stop talking to you guys and get back onto this, and I'll chat to you guys halfway through. Okay, amazing, really good. Um, now, could you just summarize to me why you're choosing biomedical sciences of all the sciences you could do? Why this one specifically? First interview over, she was applying to Oxford, and yeah, pretty, uh, pretty good research skills, pretty good reading, uh, knew what she was talking about, and knew her syllabus very, very well when I asked her science questions. Anyway, five minutes till the next interview, let's get going. I'm third, I'm one of the mock interviews and today we'll be doing a typical Oxbridge interview. I just want to start off by asking um, what reading have you done recently around the topic of experimental psychology? Mock interview is over for lunch now and I'm going to carry on in the afternoon. I'm going to, during lunchtime, do a bit of medical revision myself and then I'll quickly make a, a sandwich of some sort. Quick lunchtime snack. Could you quickly talk to me about the virus replication cycle and uh, how viruses can manipulate cells to achieve what they want and how some viruses are particularly effective at that? Wonderful, yeah. So now could you quickly compare about the differences between viruses which... So uh, I want you to just describe the nature of the image, what you see, uh, what modality of imaging is this, and you know, just talk me through it. And um, Don't yet tell me a diagnosis, just describe to me what you see. All going good so far, a few technical issues, but they're getting sorted as we speak. Uh, in that case, can you now talk to me about a study that you have read, that you do know the name of in a journal maybe, that's uh, quite well known? What do you define as a working memory, sorry? Uh, sort of move on from that, um, that's good. That, so um, you mentioned that it's quite important that doctors are able to sort of uh, manage their stress well and are able to sort of ensure they are maintaining a good work-life balance. How have you maintained a good work-life balance? And um, how has that helped you perform better at school? Uh, what sort of imaging this is? What modality of imaging this is? Then talk about the red spots you see on this brain scan. So could you start off by just outlining to me, uh, what reading have you done that's, uh, that's relevant to uh, veterinary sciences in the last few days? Just finished with interviews. That was pretty long. Um, had yeah, a mini lunch break <laughs> of blueberries. Uh, that was pretty good. A lot of the students performed very, very well. Uh, these students are applying for a variety of subjects at Oxford Cambridge um, and I think veterinary school as well. So yeah, it's quite nice to be able to you know, hear their interests, quiz them a bit, get them thinking on their feet. I just want to quickly touch upon the importance of practicing uh, doing mock interviews. For all of you who will be having interviews in the future, whether it's an interview for work, whether it's for university, it's so important to have mocks with people that you haven't met before. And what this really helps you do is improve your ability to talk to people that you haven't talked to before about something you're interested in, about stuff you've done. And it's the confidence you'll develop by practicing that will then make you seem really, really confident and well thought in your final interview. So, you know, instead of going and shivering and having lots of nerves in your actual interview, but having mock interviews, you get past that stage in the mocks, so your final interview will allow you to present yourself in the best light. And that's what all these mock interviews are about. They're about helping people present themselves in their best light. That's why I think they're so, so important. Anyway, hopefully you found this video interesting. And yeah, it's just a Sunday of me doing more interviews, really. 
Uh, to be fair, it does make me some side money as well, which helps pay for a few things here and there. Probably.